we've got Vampirina. Is that funny? Oh boy, <laughs> starting early guys. We told y'all this is her new thing. So this morning, this little Missy is going to my parents' house because we need a full work day. This is, we try, we usually do that four days a week. Um, so basically we have four work days because this is literally, these are our jobs like YouTube and then he's got his travel agency too. So, um, it's funny. We used to get comments like, I can't believe you're, um, you know, not watching your own daughter. I'm like, we have to work. This is our job. Like anyone anyway, but we really haven't gotten that in a long time. So, so that is what's happening. And what else was it? Oh, I have to take little Noki boy, our doggy to get his nails trimmed. He's going to hate it. <laughs> So I also need to make some coffee. Tyler, it's trash day. So Tyler got the trash out yesterday. My hair is wild and crazy. It was air dried yesterday and the curls actually sat pretty well. I, it's okay. I think it's, I can fix it. I can fix this. So I got this advent wreath. I just bought it on Etsy and it is beautiful. It has these little angels on it. And basically what you do is you have your four candles and you light them each week of advent and say a little prayer. We usually did it before dinner growing up. And this is making me emotional because we had one similar to this. It didn't have the angels growing up and it was such a part of our Christmas tradition. And I wanted to do that with my little family. So this is absolutely stunning. This shop, it is this woman that makes these and her name is Dorothy, Dorothy's Creative Designs. I will link this exact one below. I'm pretty sure she hand makes these and she has a couple different options. You can get the purple and pink candle, which is what I grew up with. You can get like white ones. And I just think this is so special, especially, you know, obviously I'm Christian. And so this is meaningful for me. Maybe it'd be something different for you or have a different meaning, but I just love it. And it gets me so excited for Christmas. So I'm excited to be able to share this with Miss Gigi and with Tyler. This boy must know something's up. He has his foot tucked all the way under his face tail covering his little booty. Pinocchio, we gotta go in a few minutes. Gotta go get your nails cut. This boy was very, very brave, won't you? He was so scared. I hate it when we go and we love our vet's office. They're so, so good with them. And it literally takes them like three minutes, but he's just, while he's waiting, just absolutely shaking. And I'm like, poor buddy, you'll be all white. And then afterwards he's prancing around proud, proud of himself. Very good boy. He got an extra special tweet today when we got home. So having some over easy eggs and an English muffin for breakfast today. Trying to eat it really quickly so I can get started working. But I have not, I feel like I haven't had eggs like this in a hot minute. And I was craving them all weekend and then we never made them. So here we are. Tyler has been intermittent fasting. So he won't be eating for like two more hours. Uh, I tried intermittent fasting for a while. And I don't know, man. I, I did it okay for a while. But I, I couldn't do it for a very long time. And so... I just don't think it's for me anyway, but he's doing it. And I know he's even said, he's like, I'm not going to do this forever, but he's just trying to kickstart stuff. So anyway, more power to him. I'm eating some eggs. What are you feeding him? Ice You're feeding him ice cream? Yeah. You take your doggy for a walk? Woof, woof. Woof, woof. There you go. Sitting in your chair. Rock, rock in the rocking chair. You can rock it. That's just right for Gigi, isn't it? Look at him. He's got nice eyes. He's mad. Oh, he's mad? Yeah. Oh, he's mad. He looks kind of mad, doesn't he? Well, it's your happy now. I'm happy now. He's happy now. He's smiling. Say hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. I'm playing with Woof Woof. It has been a whirlwind of a day already. Yeah. I'm doing this intermittent fasting thing. And in the first week of December, when I started doing it, I've lost like eight pounds. So it is working on top of the fact that I've also been working out every day. So I'm sure that the two combined, but well, I'm, I'm proud of you, You're man. silent back there and I feel, uh, sorry. <laughs> I, was I don't waiting, know what to do with my hands. I was hands. waiting for like a, mm -hmm, or yeah, sorry. Really. <laughs> I was just soaking it what you were saying. So sorry. earlier, Tyler, I was talking and I mean, vlogging about how, uh, I tried that once and it wasn't as hard as I think I thought it would be, but I just yeah, don't think it's think, for me, and I just don't want to do it. Well, I think part of it is the timing, too, because, like, it's for me, it's 16 hours, so it's 8 p.m. until noon the next day. And so really all I'm doing is giving breakfast, because by 8 p.m. we're usually done with dinner anyway. Yeah. And then... Um, but, like, on the weekends, you said, you're probably yeah, going to not yeah. do it well, on the weekends. I've read a bunch of articles about it, and what they're saying is, like, if you do it 
like three or four times a week, it's almost as effective as if you do every single day each week, which I thought was pretty interesting. Like, huh. it, it, it serves a lot of benefits, even if you don't do it every single day. Yeah, look into so, it, because we're obviously not the yeah, experts. But don't ever listen to anything and, we say. Yeah, because we don't know but, what we're talking about. And again, about. I feel it's one of those things, anytime you start like trying to eat healthy or whatever, you can lose a, you know, the first you know five or ten pounds easily, then it gets a lot harder after that. So. I don't know, man. Well, <laughs> um, so anyway, so I'm going to have some carrots, I'm going to have a little bit of soup. Yum. Uh, oh, save me some of that because I'm not hungry yet, but I might. I mean, I because I had my eggs. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, it's been a whirlwind day. I was I had a, I took Gigi over at like eight o'clock this morning to her grandparents' house, and then I had a phone call with my agent Tony, um, and then I've been trying to clear my inbox, which has been crazy because every Monday my inbox gets filled up. Yeah, um, and this boy's been needier than ever. We're so proud of you, buddy. <laughs> And then I got to still edit Vlogmas yes. from yesterday. I'll do the thumbnail, though. I can make the thumbnail. Thank you. So I talked about these before and how we bought a bunch of these years ago. And they, like, totally, the scent has faded. And so I'm trying to use them all up. And then we can buy fresh ones. Anyway, if you, however, are ever wanting to know what the best, in my opinion, Christmas-scented, like, tart from Yankee Candle is, it is by far and away. Wait, no. Far and away. By far. Okay. <laughs> Balsam and spruce. It's very, very piney though. So if you don't like that, you would hate it. But if you do, you're holy moly, for it. You're <laughs> you will love this scent. I love it so much. So I wanted to update you guys because I know a lot of you guys were curious about how I'm liking the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. So this is the third time I've tried it. Um, I think that you can't put it on top of like glowy products. So like I'm using a glowy SPF. If I were to put this directly on top of it, it is so overly glowy. But when I put it on top of just like a regular SPF, I think it looks really healthy and nice. So I don't have any concealer on or anything like that yet. But I put on two layers and I feel like it covered about what I want. It's not moving. That's what's interesting. It looks glowy, but it's not like tacky once it sticks, like dries down. So I'm liking it so far. I'm going to keep it. And I think this shade, especially in the winter, works just fine for me. And yeah, I'm, I don't, the smell is weird. I didn't notice it the first few times I used it, but today, man, it lingered for like five minutes. It's finally gone, but it's a really bizarre smell. So I would say if you like really like coverage products that you can put on with your fingers, cause they say to apply it like a serum, you will like this. If you don't want either of those things, if you don't want to apply it with your hand, nor do you want like light coverage, it's not for you. That's what I'll say. It's expensive, but I really am enjoying it so far. I have the shade ST3 Balos, if you were curious. You guys, you guys are never going to believe this. I, I can't even believe this. Warren Buffett just sent me an email. Look at this. You can tell it's definitely 100% from Warren Buffett because it says, my name is Warren E. Buffett, American business magnate, <laughs> investor, and philanthropist. Apparently, he has an excess of money, and he just wants to give it to me for free. For almost no reason at all. But what kills me is Mr. Buffett, even though he's a billionaire, just has a regular gmail.com account. Also, he doesn't capitalize Japan or I. Uh, so even though he's a billionaire, I don't think he's all that smart. Also, my favorite part is that <laughs> he signs his emails. Mr. Warren E. Buffett, billionaire investor. <laughs> Warren Buffett, billionaire. Which, to be fair... If I was a billionaire, I might sign all of my emails. Tyler Braun, billionaire. It kills me. How dumb do they think people are? So if you want to email Warren Buffett, there's his email. Okay, but for real, I have two other things to say. So since I started putting up my Alaska videos, they start in Seattle because that's where we embarked from. And I uh, have now had some clients come through and they're starting to book some Alaskan cruises. And so I was trying to figure out where to get them to stay in Seattle. And so I messaged Taylor Wynn, the one and only Taylor Wynn, and she responded and sent me some awesome recommendations for hotel options in Seattle. So if you happen to be watching this, Taylor, thank you so much. That is very awesome. Also, this just makes me laugh. So I listen to classical music pretty much all day, every day in my office, just as background music as I'm working. And this makes me laugh so much. I have, they have a whole series of these. <laughs> and they're like, so this is Schubert, right? And they have these faces of like these just normal guys like in a wig and stuff. Instead of just being like a painting or whatever, they just chose like today humans. And they have them as the covers of these albums. And it just cracks me up. Let me find some more. There is Edvard Grieg, Schumann, Bach. <laughs> and my personal favorite, <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs>
<laughs> he looks like Sweeney Todd in like a bad community theater production of Sweeney Todd. <laughs> The wig is so bad. I don't know why they thought it would be better to have people instead of just like paintings or just like their name or whatever, but it just makes me laugh. Alrighty, so watching a little TV while I create the thumbnail for a video I just edited. It's actually the Trader Joe's haul that I filmed a few days ago. And actually, I don't think it'll go up until, when are you guys seeing this? Tuesday. I think you'll see it Wednesday, so tomorrow. So that'll be up soon, and yeah, I need to get something to eat because I'm super hungry. Oh, let me show you this candle. So I got a few things from Bath & Body Works because I wanted some holiday candles now, and a lot of the smaller businesses I was wanting to order from, I did order from, but they're not gonna be here for a while. Um, so anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is Vanilla Bean Noel, which is like my favorite scent of all time, and oh, I just love it. I was so excited to light this today. It smells so good, like vanillas and marshmallows. For those of you that don't know, um, if you have like an Amazon Fire TV or like a like the Kindle tablets, like the Fire tablets, I think that's what they're called. Um, I actually have an app, the Tyler Travels TV app on any of those. So if you're on your Fire TV, if you search for Tyler Travels TV, you have to search, it'll also be one word. But if you search for Tyler Travels TV, you can find my app. And there it is. And I'm, I'm, the reason I'm showing is because it took me like, I, I think I made this like in September of last year or something like that. And it's taken three months for them to actually update the thumbnail. So I was very excited. I just saw today they finally updated the thumbnail. Um, and so if you click on it, it's got all of our videos on it. Um, so it's basically like going to, uh, you can see me there in the reflection. Um, but it's basically like our YouTube channel, um, but it's just an app. So you can just download it on your app and then it's like a, an app on your TV. How many times can I say the word app? You get, I finally updated all these screenshots and everything. So like I said, I submitted this like months ago and it's taken forever, but I'm very happy to see that it's it's finally up there and it's looking good. If you go to it, so here you can see it. It's a pretty basic app, but it's got all of our videos on it. So if you find this to be easier, this is like the latest. And if you go up here to the menu, you can see all the different, uh, playlists and everything like that. Um, but if you'd rather do that instead of going to YouTube on your TV or whatever, and then you can just go to like the Alaskan Cruise videos, shameless plug, and you can see them there. So anyway, I just thought you guys might like to see that. And I mostly am just excited that they finally updated the thumbnail like I've wanted to for literally months now. I'm very excited. I think it looks a lot better than what it used to if I can pull it. Yeah. Also Humpty Dumpty, classic kid stuff. We will include a link below if you want to download it on your uh, Fire TV or your Fire iPad. I already forgot what it's called. <laughs> Well, a few things. I don't know if Tyler showed you that our old Christmas tree that used to be like in our living room or our family room upstairs, this was it. And so it was actually one that used to be at my parents' house. So there's kind of some like nostalgia behind it. So we still have it, but we put it down here and we're gonna put some fun ornaments on it. Hopefully with Gigi soon. But yeah, he put this up the other day and hopefully we'll decorate it either tonight or tomorrow. But I am gonna try to get a workout in. So I wanna do a YouTube workout, like a dance one, and then maybe some strength training. I've got a little bit of time, probably about 45 minutes before I need to go leave and pick Gigi up. So I'm gonna squeeze in what I can. I'd actually, honestly, it's more than enough time because usually I do like 30 minutes. So. That'll be good. I'll link whatever video I do, like the dance one down below. Oh, that was amazing. One video, 275 calories in the end. <sighs> that was just a blast. Sometimes she puts one out that just like gets me in the best mood and that was one of them. I totally, totally recommend it. Not a great angle. Not a great angle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just finished editing yesterday's Vlogmas. It's about to go live. It's like mm -hmm. 4.30 now. So it's probably going to go up around 5, but you guys will already know. Um, you just finished a, wor a workout. I'm about to go yes. change so I can work out. I'm actually getting the link for this to share with you guys down below, but also I'm sending it to my brother and sister-in-law because they would totally do this together and have a blast. It was really fun anyway. Have I said that enough? <laughs> I'm done talking about it, but yeah, uh, I'm going to yeah. go. It's such an ugly day. I was going to go on a run, but it's so ugly out. I'm like, I'll just, I'll go, I'll work out downstairs tonight, like a strength training workout and then do a. Yeah. By the way, on these days, remember I bought that happy light that's like the, it like mimics the sun. Yeah. Have you used I still it haven't used it yet. No. Yeah, it's in my closet because I bought it towards the end of winter and then never. So yeah, I'll have to uh, try that out and let you guys know. Not now, yeah. but like another day this week. Anywho. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that's all. Out. I will. Thank you. Glad you had a good workout. Thank you. I'm going to go get that girl. All right. Also, my shirt is inside out. <laughs> so I just got to my parents' house, and they've got so much decor up. My dad has quite a few trains. Dad, what kind is this one? A Lionel train? Lionel. This is one of my favorite areas, the little snow village. Oh, my gosh. I loved these when I was a kid. Look at this. Mom, I didn't know you had so many nutcrackers. Hey, mommy, hey, mommy. 
Daddy. Hi, baby. Mommy. Do you see all the nutcrackers? Mm. Yeah, be gentle. Another favorite area. This. Oh, you guys got your fireplace going. I want to find a piece like this. I just think, Dad, I've always thought that was pretty. How'd you attach it to that? Just hands on. Oh, like with things. It's just so pretty. There's my daddy. Hi, daddy. <laughs> And he's got another train going in this tree. Ooh, this one's even taller. Are they drinking hot chocolate on the Polar Express? Look at that. Oh, I remember making that a long time ago. You guys have a lot of trees too. Oh, we're upstairs now. Hey, this is the room, if you're curious, I started filming in. Do you mind, Mom? Oh, it's so nice and clean. This was the room I used to film in when I started. Oh. You guys made it all beachy. Well, now it's Santa beachy. <laughs> oh, those are so cute. And mom, you said you got these covers on Amazon, right? Except for that long one. Except for the long one. Those are so cute. I really should do that. Mom, it all looks so good. Thank you. Sorry, this light, it like popped on the light. <laughs> okay, another day done. Wasn't a great workout, but I got the time in and I did it. So now I'm gonna go make dinner. Tonight for dinner, I am making chicken jambalaya, which is from this uh, Kitchen Magic with Nikki book which is one of our favorite uh, cook cookbooks. We bought it when we were in Disney. Um, obviously, if you've watched our vlogs, we talk about this a lot. Um, but this is one of my all-time favorite recipes. It is so quick and easy, and it always has a bunch of leftovers, so it's good for like a, a week's worth of meals. But it's so yummy, and then I usually add it. I make it a little bit spicier for me, and then a little bit less spicy for uh, Jess. So I add a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of sriracha to mine too. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this now. So some of the other candles I got from Bath & Body Works, this is for Tyler, mahogany tea wood he loves this scent this is one i'd never smelled before midnight blue citrus i wish you guys could smell it it's definitely more of a spring summer scent i mean you could totally burn it year round but that one smells pretty good eucalyptus mint is one of my favorites again these are more for like after christmas because we realize we love candles and we never burn them because we don't want to use them up and i'm like you know what if we love candles and it brings both of us joy let's just do it so i wanted to make sure i bought plenty and I have more on the way from some other companies for future times, like I said earlier. Anyway, Energy, this one smells okay. Uh, Tis the season's pretty good. But if I have one recommendation for a Christmas scent, it would be the scent Winter. I think that one smells incredible. We have that burning elsewhere. And then these were on sale for like 6 bucks when I bought them. Just a couple of random ones. Got some car fragrance refills we really like to have in our car. They smell really nice. So these are our Christmas cards this year. My sister-in-law actually took, took these pictures and I am just absolutely enthralled with them. We both are. So I was so excited to get these a while ago and I'm just now like, oh crap, we like need to actually mail these out. So that is on the docket for tonight. I'm going to at least get started on it. We'll see how far I get tonight. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. It's got chicken and sausage, onion, green pepper, celery. It just, oh my gosh, it smells absolutely incredible. Okay, so the rice and the stock and the rest of the seasonings all went in and now it just has to simmer for like 30 minutes and it's smells done. Good. Alrighty, we are all, I was gonna say plated up, but I guess we were all bowled up. And then I've got some naan in here that I've reheated in our little tortilla warmer. So uh, we're going to have that. We're going to go downstairs. We're going to watch The Crown. We're like on episode nine. So we're almost finished with the season, which is sad. Um, but have you guys looked up the cast of the new season? Uh, if you haven't, you should go ahead and look it up now because it's very exciting. We're currently in the uh, playing the good boy game again. Oh, but I'll... Quiet when he's being a good boy. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't mean to let it go. I just had to switch hands. <laughs> also, I don't think I actually showed. We got the uh, tree up yesterday. Out of the workout was that today maybe track of days i know um but we obviously have not put our ornaments on it yet we'll probably do it like on you know december 24th so we can take it down on the 26th yeah. oh, well. i think i made that joke yesterday it wasn't funny either time <laughs> so <laughs> tyler just lost at phase 10 yeah 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 and it wasn't even close it was like 300 to 75 and she was like three phases ahead of me it was bad it was a bad game of phase 10 for me <laughs> So one thing that Tyler's mom, Benita, gave us are one of my favorite cookies. She made them at home. These are Noel nut balls. Very similar. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but like Mexican wedding cakes. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Uh, definitely having some of these while we watch The Crown tonight. I won a phase 10 and then we played again after playing with Pinocchio. And I'm on my way to winning again. <laughs> Not really. You're one phase ahead of me. Yeah, but I have 30 and you have 90 and you want you want the lowest score. 
It's not impossible for you to win, but it's going to be difficult. No, it's not. We're one face apart. It's like phase four. It's chill. It's chill. One bad hand and you're going to be right up there with me. Okay. That is that is true. I had uh, all zeros except one hand, in the, or I guess maybe two. That's true. You were killing it. That's a good point. So you're right. Then we really... Okay. It's just one I hand. You just, you just got right away one run. And like you dropped it like two hands. Y'all like got to play phase 10 if you don't. It's just cards Everyone. and it's you can like watch TV while playing. It's fun. Obviously. It's I'm like if you like rummy, you'll like it. Yeah. So we pretty much finished our Christmas shopping <gasps> online. We were chasing Pinocchio right and he wants to keep going. Oh, yeah. Also, I think he needs to go potty. We'll have to take him out. Yeah. Um, but we finished our Christmas shopping. So as we get a lot of things in, I was thinking we usually like wrap all in one night. We should try to... Space Get it, it done, yeah, bit. because it's too much for one night, I feel like. I mean, it's possible, but it's just a lot. Um, also, we've watched, like, no Christmas movies. I watched all the Christmas Family Guy episodes <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I was thinking we should watch the Christmas Chronicles 2. Remember, oh, yeah. we, like, weirdly liked Christmas Chronicles. Yeah. I can't say it. Christmas yeah, Chronicles, the, last the first one. It was, like, weirdly oh, good. Come here. I think he's all jazzed up because he's so happy his nails are trimmed and he's, like, done for the next, okay. you know, six weeks or so. He's like, I'm crazy now. Oh, Panok, you're such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing to say. You have many things. Well, nothing that's not been said. Said by you, though, George. I do not know where to go. No, no, no. That, I turn into a different... <laughs> No, he's more airy. All are Mandy Patinkin. I went, no, no, no. Who is who was I sounding like? Not Bernadette Peters. <laughs> anyway, that was a Sunday in the Park with George reference. Just ignore us. Mandy Patinky, baby. It's such a I love Mandy Patinkin. Obscure. I mean, it's not that obscure. It's Sunday in the Park with George, but like, obscure. it's fairly Fine. obscure. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so we love you all. We will see you tomorrow on Tyler's channel. Mm -hmm. No key. Do you need to go potty? Are you a good boy? Were you a brave boy today? So yes. All right. Bye, guys.